Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering from the title of this video, hmm, she's doing a full-on review on the Naked Keith palette? Because yes, I already used this in a Get Ready With Me featuring a bunch of new products and gave you kind of my initial thoughts on this palette. Now, I picked, I picked this up or I received this palette um, on Monday of this week. Uh, so I've been playing with it for about a week. I wore it pretty much every day this past week and it honestly gave me a good idea. Now, most people probably wonder like how long you test a product out for before you can give your honest opinion on it. And I think it varies. For me, if I've had experience with the brand, I kind of know what to expect. Urban Decay is a brand I've used for a long time. It's, it was my first high-end brand that I ever tried. So I have a good idea of what to expect with their palettes. And the Naked series is no exception. It is one very close to my heart. So I thought I would come on here and give you guys a full-on review of my thoughts and show you some other palettes I think are excellent dupes for the Naked Heat palette and why. Now, if you guys are looking for all the specs on this palette, you can definitely tune in to any of the other Naked Heat palette review videos. Personally, I just looked up. It's $54. There are 12 shades, 0.05 ounces in each shade, and then that's 13 grams of product. Currently, this palette is out of stock on Sephora.com, um, but I'm sure they will restock. I'm sure it's probably available on UrbanDecay.com or whatever. So if you are looking for the Naked Heat palette, definitely look elsewhere. And they did do a whole collection with this palette, guys. They had three lipsticks, two eyeliner sticks, but I was not interested in them. I was only interested in the palette. Now, packaging-wise, they knocked it out of the park. This is some futuristic shit. I mean, Urban Decay really puts thought into their packaging and I 100% admire them for that because it's so innovative, it's different, you know, they really, really freaking try, which makes me so happy because I do, you know, feel excited when I see this packaging versus like the ABH packaging that's very, very simple. Don't get me wrong, I am a sucker for some mauve blush shades, but they could really, like a lot of brands don't put as much time and effort into their packaging as Urban Decay does. As far as the box, it is super beautiful. Um, it kind of has like a matchbox style. So this is the front packaging. It has the palette on it and it says Naked Urban Decay Heat. And on the back here, it says Naked Heats Up. Get lit with 12 all new, can't live without amber hued neutrals, including warm browns, burnt oranges, and rich siennas. From a super smooth red brown matte and a glimmering copper to a deep shifty bronze, this palette has everything you need to create sultry daytime look, intensely smoky nighttime looks, and everything in between. Now, I honestly think that is the perfect description for this palette. This is going to be your everyday warm sienna shade palette. At first, I think a lot of people thought that I really hated this palette. And in a sense, I did because I am an Urban Decay fan and I was really expecting the foils to be like super, super shimmery. And like, you know, I had an expectation in my mind and it didn't meet my expectation. Now after playing with it for a little bit longer, it kind of took me back, took me back a couple of years to this palette when I first started playing with makeup and high-end makeup. And this is the Naked One palette, if you guys don't know. This has been used to death. This is by far my most used eyeshadow palette. I don't have anything that has this many dents in it in my collection because of course my eyeshadow collection has grown leaps and bounds since the good old days. But what happened when I started playing with the Naked Heat palette was that it took me back to when I was playing with this palette. And I think the Naked Heat palette is going to be what the Naked palette was for this generation in 2017. The girls that are starting out with makeup that are gonna pick this up and use it every day. That's what I think this palette is good for. If this is your only palette in your collection and you're gonna use this day after day after day, just like I did with the first Naked palette. And that's what it's for. It's not for me, somebody that has 800 eyeshadows to choose from that's looking for foiled shadows. This is your go-to everyday palette. It's simple. 
all the shades blend so well. The mattes are beautiful. They're creamy. I think they blend well. I don't like the shimmer shades in these. There's way too much fallout. But for your everyday girl, if you're just going to tap on some shimmer just to give it that little bit of glimmer, I think this palette is for you. I hope I'm explaining myself well. You might not maybe see my point, but as soon as I started playing with this and thinking about it, it just reminded me of how I'm how much I used to use this naked palette versus a lot of my palettes now. I use them maybe once a month if they're lucky. I just am constantly switching between palettes. So that's kind of why I was disappointed with this because I'm like, fuck this. Like I have way better shades in my collection. But I just think like if I put myself back into like the 2011, 2009 stages of my life, I think this palette would have been my favorite, you know, and I think that's where this palette is going to shine for those everyday people that want to use these shades. I love the shades on this side of the palette. He Devil is a beautiful crease shade. This shade, Ashes, works so wonderfully to smoke out the outer V of your eyeshadow. I think it's a wonderful smoky shade. The brush in the palette is good. I used it this time. I said that in my Get Ready With Me video how I wanted to use this brush because I never use brushes that come in palettes and there's nothing wrong with the Urban Decay brushes that come with palettes. So again, like I said, I think this is a great everyday palette and I'm going to go ahead and swatch this guy for you now. Okay guys, so here are my swatches of the palette. I always forget that they, like my arm, twist this way. So let me just start from the top. We have Ounce, which is the brow bone highlight. We have Chaser, Sauced, Low Blow, Lumber, He Devil, Dirty Talk, Scorch, Cayenne, and then we have En Fuego, Ashes, and Ember. So these are the shades in the Naked Heat palette. Now I don't swatch these on primer or anything, this is just my bare skin and I just do one swipe. So I think for the most part the swatches did do very well. For example the shade Lumber, it was a pretty bad swatch. I mean I think you can always build these up on your lids but I just was expecting more from the shimmer shades. That's what I'm most disappointed about. But again I feel really bad because I think everyone thought I hated this palette. I don't hate it. I just don't think this palette was made for me. I think it was made for that everyday girl. Um, now let's compare. This is the only naked, other naked palette I have and I don't even have all the eyeshadow shades but as you can see this naked heat is very different and I think it's very different from the whole naked lineup. Uh, they don't have anything like this. And I just think it was smart that Urban Decay decided to do an eyeshadow palette like this. I don't think the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette is quite the dupe for this, even though I've seen a lot of people compare it. ABH palette has, you know, a few colors that are very similar, but it's not dedicated to all those warm sienna shades. They have, you know, pops of pink in here, like mommy shades. So, I don't think these two are very comparable. I do think that even though there's thousands of warm eyeshadow palettes out there, Urban Decay did manage to create something unique. The only other palette I can think of that is very similar to this is, of course, my Violet Voss Holy Grails palette. Now, I love the um, consistency of the Holy Grail shades. Um, I think Violet Voss makes some amazing shimmery shadows, and that's kind of what I'm used to. When I'm expecting a shimmer. I'm expecting it to like pop on my skin beautifully um, whereas the Urban Decay ones they don't perform as beautifully on my lids which is problematic for me. I want my foils to really pop and their mattes on the Holy Grail palette are also really beautiful and this palette is a little bit more affordable than the Naked Heat palette so if you are looking to purchase you can definitely check this out and this also comes with let's see here 20 shades whereas the Urban Decay palette only comes with 12 eyeshadows so that's something to think about again I don't think they're identical but I think you know they're very similar all of my warm eyeshadows end up getting compared to the Holy Grail palette as well as this guy this is the Violet Voss Ride or Die palette honestly some of the most amazing eyeshadows I've ever experienced 
I know I can find colors very similar to the Naked Heat in this palette. So that's just why I think personally for me, it wasn't my favorite formula, but I do think this is very true to the Urban Decay brand. So yeah, I definitely think that if you are interested in this palette, you should definitely check this out for yourself and form your opinion for yourself. Personally, I just think that for somebody that is um, not a professional at makeup, but that plays with a lot of makeup, this could have been... They could have worked on those shimmers a little better, but honestly, the only shimmery eyeshadows that Urban Decay has, like the glitter-infused ones, are the Moon Dust shadows. They could have incorporated the Moon Dust formula in some of these shadows. I think that would have really convinced me to keep this palette. But since there aren't any like ultra shimmery like lid shades for me, this palette just didn't make the cut. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my very rambly review on the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys what my opinion was that I didn't hate this palette. I just don't think it's for me. I think it would be a great palette for a beginner. So if you're looking to gift this to somebody, a makeup beginner, I think would love the palette. Also, anyone that collects Urban Decay is of course going to love it. Personally, for me, it is going back to UrbanDecay.com. So yeah, I, I'm not planning on keeping it because I know I won't get any use out of it because I have so many similar shades. I hope you guys enjoyed my honest opinion on the Naked Heat palette. Let me know your thoughts if you have tried the palette or let me know if you are planning on purchasing it. I would always love to hear what you guys think of all of this makeup that comes out. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.